Today's video is brought to you by Vinyl Moon. Vinyl Moon is the all-in-one deluxe vinyl discovery. Every month they press awesome music on beautiful colored records and send them right to your door. Join today with discount code VINALIZE to get 10% off. All right, now, you know those platinum records that musicians like to put on their walls? Could we actually take those out of the case and play them on a turntable? Today we're gonna find out, cause this is something that I've wondered about for a while, and I'm sure you have as well. Now, we'll also be covering how these records are made and why they're so important in the first place. And last of all, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell, cause it really helps me out. All right, so before we dive in, today's song of the day is The Millionaire Waltz, by Queen. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Okay, so before we play these platinum records on a turntable, we first have to understand what exactly they are. So officially, these types of records are what the Recording Industry Association of America, or RIAA for short, would call Music Recording Certification Awards. What does that mean? Well, basically, these are trophies given to the artist that commemorates how many albums or singles they've sold. So it's a pretty big deal to receive one of these, and that's why musicians like to display them on the walls of their studios, similar to how a doctor would display his medical degrees on the walls of his office. It's the same concept. So as far as these awards go, there are four separate levels one can achieve. Gold, which means you've sold 500,000 units. Platinum, which means you've sold a million units. Multi-platinum, which means you've sold 2 million units or more. And finally, diamond, meaning you've sold 10 million units or more. Now, naturally, in this age of digital downloads and streaming, my next question is, what exactly constitutes a unit? Well, according to this article on RetroOnly.com, when it comes to certifying albums, the following three criteria count as one unit. Each permanent digital or physical sale of the album, 10 permanent track downloads from the album, and finally, 1,500 on-demand audio and or video streams from the album. So all of those things count as one unit. Now, when it comes to certifying singles, there are only two criteria, each permanent digital download and 150 on-demand audio and or video streams. So the moral of the story here is that physical music, like vinyl records, cassettes, and CDs, and digital downloads, like through the iTunes store, are way more meaningful to an artist than just streaming their music alone. So if you really love a certain band and you want to support them, buying their record is a great way to do that. It helps their numbers and you get some really cool artwork that you can you know, put on your wall. It's a win-win. Now, getting back to how these record awards are made, in the early days, they would use the mother from the vinyl manufacturing process. What exactly is a mother? Well, besides the obvious definition, it's also the name for the metal plate, which is used to make the stampers, which are used to make the records. So this mother has grooves, is made out of nickel, and also has a shiny silver finish. So for the platinum awards, they would just keep it as is, since it already resembles platinum to begin with, and then they would go ahead and frame it. And for the gold awards, they would just add a thin layer of gold plating to the surface. So to state the obvious, these records were never actually real gold or real platinum. They were mostly made from nickel. Now we fast forward to today and the RIAA uses a much simpler approach. Instead of the mothers, now they just use a normal vinyl record and plate it in either gold for golden awards or silver for platinum awards. So yet again, not real gold or platinum. Now, the funniest thing I learned when I was researching all of this stuff is that most of the time, the record being plated is not the same record receiving the award. So for example, Taylor Swift receives a platinum award for her newest album. She takes it out of the case to play it and discovers it's really death metal. That'd be pretty funny, right? Well, that exact scenario has actually happened to several musicians before. They realized the music they were being awarded with was not theirs. 
Also, that's the reason why sometimes the number of tracks on the disc itself do not match the number of tracks on the album being awarded, because they're not the same album. So as you can see, the purpose of these awards is not to actually play them, but more so to just admire them on the wall. Now with that being said, and to answer our question of the day here, since both types of these records do contain grooves, yes, you can play them on your turntable. However, one thing to keep in mind here is that since they are metal and not plastic, the sound could be pretty rough and it might also damage your stylus. So if you are going to play one, be sure to use a cheap cartridge that you wouldn't mind replacing. Definitely do not use your Ortofon 2M bronze. That would be a bad idea. Now, speaking of the significance of these awards, according to musicgoldmine.com, the first gold single was issued on March 14th, 1958, for the song Catch a Falling Star by Perry Como. The first gold album was on July 8th, 1958, for the cast soundtrack of Oklahoma. The first platinum single was in 1976 for Johnny Taylor's Disco Lady. And finally, the first platinum album was issued on February 24th, 1970 76 to the Eagles for their greatest hits 1971 through 1975. And the site also goes on to say that as far as the sheer number of awards ever won by musicians, Elvis Presley has the most as a solo artist and the Beatles have the most as a group. And both of these bands have a pretty good chance of keeping those top spots because their music is still selling even today which is really awesome. Now, as far as the companies that manufacture these awards, the RIAA lists three on their website. DJ Gold Products in Seattle, Washington, Jewel Box Platinum in Inglewood, California, and Metro Pro LLC in Pine Brook, New Jersey. And as far as the cost, the price for each award can range from $135 to $275, depending on its size and how elaborate the design is. Also, only the artist or record label who actually own the rights to the music can place an order for one of these awards. So you and I can't really get one as civilians. Now with that being said, if you really want to own one of these and you don't care if it's not official, then you can actually hop on eBay and pick one up from this guy who will make a custom one just for you for about a hundred bucks. So if you believe your album deserves platinum record status, you can do it yourself and it'll look cool on Instagram. Now, speaking of cool stuff, I wanted to show you all this record from today's sponsor, Vinyl Moon. It actually came out last year, but it's very special because it commemorates their 50th record release. And since this company has only been around since 2015, to have pressed 50 records in the span of four years is quite an accomplishment. Now, as you can see, we get two split vinyl records inside the gatefold, one that's blue and white, and one that's red and white, and they both look really cool. Now the artwork on this volume also has a red, white, and blue theme to it, because the number 50 also coincides with the 50th anniversary of the US moon landing. So everywhere you look on this thing, you're gonna see those same three colors, including on this little patch that they've also included inside the gatefold as well. So that's pretty cool. Now finally, as far as the music goes, my favorite tracks on these records are Whitney by Gavin Turek, Say Can You Hear by Men I Trust, Losing My Head by Lizzie Land, and finally Spindles, the Vinyl Moon Edit by Slow Dancing Society. So like I said, if you want to check out Vinyl Moon for yourself, their link will be in the video description down below. All right, now getting back to these special record awards, as far as the diamond ones are concerned, those don't actually feature any records at all and are instead just a little trophy made out of crystal. So they do look pretty cool, but obviously you can't play them on your turntable. Now overall, I do think that these gold, platinum, and diamond awards serve an important purpose. Even though they're not meant to be played, they are kind of a big deal to the artists that receive one. Basically, they're a visual reminder that, you know, you've done a good job and you've made your mark on the world. So I think that's definitely something to be proud of. And if you want to put it on your wall, 
I say go for it. Now, what are your thoughts about these kinds of records? Have you ever seen one in person, like at a recording studio? Let me know down in the comments below. And like I said, if you love record collecting in general, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have an awesome day, stay safe, and keep spinning that vinyl.